Hello, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dr. Laura Pfeiffer. I'm a naturopathic doctor newly practicing with Conceive, and I am working at the Barry location at Barry Fertility Center. I wanted to make this video to let you know that I am actually starting to offer acupuncture at Barry Fertility Center starting Friday, October 16th. Uh, so that's from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And I just wanted to spend the time to discuss a little bit about acupuncture when it comes to fertility specifically, because a lot of the times what we know about acupuncture has to do with a lot of musculoskeletal issues. So a lot of people will go in if they have back pain or if they have neck pain or uh, healing an injury. And although acupuncture is a fantastic treatment option to help a lot of those concerns. Not many people understand acupuncture's role directly in menstrual health, hormone health, and fertility. So today's video, I am strictly going to focus on some of the research regarding IVF outcomes and acupuncture. But I also want to highlight um, those who are trying to regulate a menstrual cycle. Acupuncture can be extremely effective as well. Uh, when it comes to fertility, we're really looking at things to improve fertility. So we are improving ovulation, we are improving IVF success rates, and in someone like PCOS, we are regulating the menstrual cycle as well in the context of fertility. So there are several mechanisms of action that are that acupuncture is proposed to help when it comes to fertility, and those are through modulating neuroendocrine factors, through increasing blood flow to the uterus, to modulating immune factors, and reducing the stress, anxiety, and depression in those who are going through uh, fertility treatments because it is an emotionally taxing process to go through in itself. Now, because acupuncture also doesn't have really any side effects or any interactions with medications, especially with IVF medications, it's really a great tool to use not only throughout before the IVF cycle, but also while you are taking the medications and even right before embryo transfer and following embryo transfer from an IVF cycle. Now, I'm going to go over some of the research, and a lot of it is in the past few months, so it's really neat that we're always up to date on the research when it comes to acupuncture and IVF. So, in 2020, we looked at a systematic review um, evaluating the effectiveness of acupuncture on clinical pregnancy rates in women going through IVF with poor ovarian response. This study found that clinical pregnancy rate was higher in the intervention group, so the group that had acupuncture versus the group that didn't, and that difference was 37.8% had a clinical pregnancy rate in those who received acupuncture versus 24.3% who didn't. They found that retrieved eggs was actually improved. They retrieved more eggs in women who had received the acupuncture. And finally, they found that AMH and AFC, so antral follicle count, were actually improved measures, although they only measured that in one of the four studies they looked at. So they didn't mark that as a significant finding in the research. Another study, also done in 2020, looked at acupuncture done 25 minutes before embryo transfer, and they found that it significantly increased IVF outcomes in women undergoing IVF compared to those who didn't have acupuncture. Another study in 2020 as well looked at three sessions of acupuncture. So in women undergoing IVF, they did one session a week before embryo transfer. They did one 30 minutes before embryo transfer and a third session 30 minutes after embryo transfer. And they found that acupuncture before and after significantly increased the pregnancy rates in women with unexplained infertility. This research also found that acupuncture significantly reduced anxiety levels that often occur before embryo transfer just by way of the procedure itself. So that's pretty neat as well. And so from that perspective, lots of patients will be getting their embryo transfers done downtown, but we can always support that in the acupuncture sessions leading up to our embryo transfer, especially that week before. And then those pre and post sessions can be booked at our downtown location. In 2019, we had a recent meta-analysis that found that acupuncture was effective to increase the risk of live birth rates by 30% uh, versus no acupuncture treatment. And they also found another study looking at an increase in live births by 42% in women who had previously had a failed IVF cycle. 
electroacupuncture specifically was found to enhance egg maturation and fertilization rate. So this is all really interesting stuff when it comes to acupuncture. And like I said, because there aren't many side effects and there are no medication interactions, then really this is a great way to augment your IVF or IUI uh, or just menstrual regulation during natural cycles. Now, the characteristics of this treatment improving outcomes had to do with how frequently how frequently they were done and how close to the IVF cycle as well. And so like I had previously mentioned, if you are going for an embryo transfer, getting that acupuncture a week before is really pertinent as well as doing the treatment before embryo transfer and following embryo transfer can be really helpful as well. If you are doing menstrual cycle regulation or anything leading up to natural cycles or optimizing fertility or optimizing your period, reducing stress and anxiety, typically three months leading up to when you actually want to conceive or you're leading up to your cycle, we recommend acupuncture once weekly and then you may go for more depending on what's going on specifically in your cycle. If you are looking to book an acupuncture appointment with me at Conceive Berry location, you can head to Conceive's website or the link in our bio. If you have any questions about acupuncture um, and how it has to do with fertility and menstrual regulation and hormone support, comment below. Thanks guys.